Mark Sippel from Shift 32 were outside of Tom Barron's office in Lutherville, Maryland, to talk to him about how online marketing has impacted his orthodontic practice. Come on in. Now, if you look at his wall of fame, you can see Dr. Barron has been a staple in this community for a very long time. Top dentist many years running. Let's go see if we can find him. Hey, Mark, how are you? Dr. Barron, good, buddy. Good, good to see you. Thanks good you so much you. for having me up. Thank you for coming. It's, I really appreciate it. I'm happy to be here. Happy to be here. So, Dr. Barron, we want to find out, first of all, what problem were you trying to solve when we first started talking? And then how did we connect? Well, we met during the pandemic when everything was shut down and we knew we had to hit the ground running when the pandemic was ended or when they let us re resume work. In my practice, I'd spent many years building a reputation of teaching and doing uh, state-of-the-art technology. I really neglected my online presence and uh, social media and so forth. So I, I needed a boost in that and I needed to get more people into the office. And as we all know too, the marketplace is changing drastically. Uh, many general dentists are doing uh, clear aligner treatment, so referrals are tailing off. If you happen to be a little bit of an older doctor, the referral base that you grew up with, their practices are aging out. So as referrals become harder to come by, um, direct-to-consumer became a very necessary thing in my practice, in all of our practices, but more so in mine. I need to get my message out to a broader audience of just my referral base and internally with my own patients. Word of mouth is great, and we do a lot of business through word of mouth, but getting a broader audience could only be achieved if we got up to speed with our social media, with our online presence, with our reputation, and so forth. So having engaged you guys really stepped the game up, and the results speak for themselves.